Hey, what's up, guys? I'm sitting here chilling with little Penny. Um, I just want to talk about something that has been pissing me off um, a lot lately. Like, when people talk about, especially people that are supposedly pros in dogs, and they're not because they're dumb or than a box of potatoes, but, you know, they, uh, they, they act like they know everything, and they will say something that is you know just regurgitated bullshit and it's not true in the slightest and they will like convince others that that's the way it is and you can't tell them no because then your whole credentials goes out the door you know because it's like who's the um the reigning dictators of information in the community versus like who is right you know what i'm saying and this is in particular in this situation it's been royally fucking pissing me off that people still don't believe that dogs can take bears, big cats, you know, bulls, horses, shit like that. Hey, listen, I'm not saying every dog can do it. I'm not even saying that many dogs necessarily can do it in terms of like many dogs being like over 50% of dogs, let's say, right? Because that would be many, right? That would be the upper portion, right? If you look at your average dog i would say your average dog nowadays is a is a bum you know if they're just a house pet or they're at least something that you'd have to groom into being um a good dog again you know a good line of dogs but to act like dogs have not at least some of them beaten the piss out of grizzlies and big cats and wolverines wolves honey badgers hyenas i mean you name it i've seen it on film bro on film i've watched them go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these creatures and kick the living piss out of them your average wild animal has no fight in it whatsoever i'm not saying that you know um it's as good as like a wild animal that's like a grizzly that is like just a killing machine and knows how to fight and will fight for a long time at least for a grizzly um you know if you go up against that uh you're gonna win or like you know i'm not saying that you're gonna win you know like that or or you know that that's the case i'm saying though that a win is a win you know what i'm saying like when people say this bullshit they're like oh i, I there's no dog that can beat a grizzly bear yes there is there is plenty of breeds that will solo a small grizzly bear like they have it on film of them doing it Dogs have 15 inches of flap skin, some of them. No grizzly in heaven or hell is getting through that skin unless he really goes on, like, one spot for a long period of time. And he's not going to be able to do that because those dogs are so wiry and so quick and fast in comparison to him. Yeah, they move probably almost as fast as, as a wolf does on full stride, but they're not as quick. It's different, okay? Or a dog. You know, it's not as quick. It's, it's, it's um... um different you know what i'm saying like you have to understand i've watched it with my own eyes like people are like oh the 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 bear must have been a captive bred bear that they drugged or it's like that bullshit doesn't even make sense it doesn't make any fucking sense bro like you think that people are out here to just to prove a point that's a that's a, not a real point it's a false bullshit point and to promote a breed that that eventually people are going to um dissect anyways that they're gonna drug an animal that they've owned in captivity and let him run free and act like he's a wild animal only to then put their dog in a situation where it looks like it's just a normal everyday situation a grizzly bear comes out of nowhere and they you know get into a fight and then that kangle or or alibi beats the piss out of it and he takes off or he you know is bleeding to death like you know from the wounds like you think that that's a real thing like maybe some people but the, just the the irrationality of some of these of some of these people and idiots on on these youtube channels that are acting like this shit's not real even documentary tv documentary tv like was was acting like doggos don't kill pumas like what kind of fucking alien twilight zone planet do i live on sometimes doggos are specifically designed to murder pumas 101 even if the breeder and the creator of the doggo himself doesn't even believe that they'll be able to do it to every puma or to whatever they'll still do it because we've seen them do it <laughs> i've watched them do it i have a doggo band dog that 
my dog Snowflake will fucking murder anything her size. Other than the game pit, she's hard as nails. She's vicious. She's going to go hard as shit against whatever, okay? You you guys don't understand this because you have curves. There's a difference. You can't just base it on your one or two or even ten opinions of doggos that you've owned. You have to base it on the reality is that I watched them drag pumas off a damn mountain. I've seen them drag them out of trees. I've watched them drag leopards out of trees, okay? It's not even remotely debatable whatsoever if a doggo can kill a small big cat. There's no fucking debate about it. It's literally like saying greyhounds are not able to clock 40. Like, it's just fucking stupid. They clock 50. Shaky Jakey, probably, I, like, I heard that some of them clocked over 50 and Shaky Jakey smoked professional greyhounds by like 200 dog wings like he will gladly clock probably 50 or close to that you know what i mean like there are fast dogs there is capable dogs of other breeds you know this shit is not um this shit is not even logical like this argument they have literally pictures of them and videos of them doing it, historical shit of them doing it you have to understand just because a dog you know is only 100 200 pounds you know, that's that's half the size of a tiger, bro. Your average tiger is 400 pounds. It's not six, 800, 900, 1,000. It's 400 pounds. Your average bear is like 800. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's only a couple couple sizes up. That's like saying a 150-pound fighter can't beat up somebody who's 350 pounds. Of course they can. Floyd Mayweather would give the hands... The hands to Brian Shaw or any of these other big ass people. You would give them the hands, the the straight business to the to the to the cranium, bro. Like you would get some guy to jump a back on one of these big ass dudes and choke him out. It's the same concept. It's like acting like you guys act like your average predator isn't out here killing prey that's much larger than themselves. That's the way the energy in in ecosystems are transferred, anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys make no fucking sense. Grow up. Like, you act like people and dogs have all this dog bias, but at the end of the day, I've literally visibly seen dogs slaughter things 10, 15, 25 times their size. Like, if you've never seen a Leica kill a moose by itself, you're just not even in dogs. Like, if you've never seen a honey badger get torn to pieces by street dogs in Africa, like I have, you've never been in dogs. If you've never seen a striped hyena, which is only 10 pounds smaller on average than a fucking spotted hyena, and m very debatably more vicious than a spotted hyena. I've seen striped hyena go head up against three leopards and win, okay? They are extremely vicious and they're singular animals. They don't hunt in packs like that. So they're way more vicious probably than a spotted hyena is. I promise you on that. Because I've watched them do some crazier shit than a spotted hyena ever would. I've seen spotted hyena get wrecked by leopards. I've seen a striped go up, a head up against three leopards and, and take all their soul from them. So I'm just trying, they're like a honey badger. I'm trying to tell you, some of them are. So you can say all that bullshit that you want. When you see a Kangle take one, it's doing something. And the Kangle is not even really working that hard against it because it's not even a damn game dog. It's a fucking hard cur. You know, 99% of the time, even if it scratches at the end uh, in a match or something, it's not even that hard of a, of a dog compared to like a doggo or a game pit, okay? Not even really close, okay? So um, you got to understand that, like, this whole argument is just fucking stupid. If you've never seen um, a wolverine get tossed around in a pit by a pit bull, or if you've never seen a wolf get, like, I've seen, there's matches like that one with Rocky where, like, he cracked the femur bones of that wolf. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just crushed the front legs of a wolf, 40 something kg wolf or whatever, and crushed the fuck out of it. Um, I mean, they'll do it to any wolf that's over 100 pounds, too. And no wolves do not get, uh, like, all this shit with, like, the, the sizes and stuff, too, is so stupid. Like, people are like, oh, jaguars are, like, 300 pounds. Your average jaguar is 100 pounds. 100 pounds. It's 120 tops, 100, whatever. It's not even close. Not even close to 300. That's, like, an extremely rare case, and half of that cat is fat, probably. I'm trying to tell you, man. You guys are so delusional with this other animal bias bullshit like oh wolves are getting 180 pounds and they crack but they have a 1500 pound bite force no wolf bites harder than a dog i don't give a fuck what any scientist says it's literally impossible dogs have a bigger jowl 